Today, as we're reading through 1 Kings 15 and 2 Chronicles 13, we're in the era of a divided kingdom. In the south, we have the kingdom of Judah, which is the people from the tribes of Judah and Benjamin. And in the north, the remaining 10 tribes known as the kingdom of Israel. Now, in chapter 15, we read about the reign of two kings from Judah, Abijam and Asa, and two kings from the north, Nadab and Basha. Now, Abijam from the south and Nadab and Basha from the northern kingdom, well, they have kind of a similar and sad legacy to their reign as kings. It's said of them that they committed the same sins as their fathers, and these kings, they weren't faithful to the Lord in their lives or in their leadership. But Asa, well, Asa is different. You know, his reign lasted for 41 years. And in the early days, he followed the Lord wholeheartedly. We're told that he rid the land of its idols, even removing his grandmother from her position as queen. You see, she was given over to all kinds of idolatrous living. And for the majority of his life, his leadership highlights a bright spot in the kingdom of Judah. And if we only had this chapter of the Bible to learn about King Asa, we might be tempted to say he's a, an ideal example of following the Lord. And again, for much of his life, he was. But in 2 Chronicles 16, we're given some insight that God was not pleased with how Asa used the resources of the kingdom to buy favor with a foreign power. In fact, we learn that God sent a prophet, the prophet Hananiah, to warn Asa, and Asa responds by putting the prophet in prison. You know, as a pastor, I think I can agree that if just because someone doesn't like a sermon, putting the pastor in prison probably isn't a choice that's gonna garner any kind of favor with God. But the point is, Asa, he started really well. I mean, he cleansed the kingdom from idolatry. He's known to have built fortified cities and he had many strategic military victories. And all in all, Asa was a good king but one who did not finish well. The last years of his life were marked by unbelief, hardness against God, oppression against his people, and disease. And there's a lesson for us to learn from Asa's life and to lean into. Age and time do not necessarily make us better. They only do if we continue to follow God by faith. So no matter what age, or stage of life you find yourself in today, let me encourage you. Let me encourage you to follow these words of Jesus every single day. They come from Matthew chapter six and Jesus says, seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. Don't worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today.